Hey everybody, it's Nicole Dion, and today is Whimsical Wednesday, and it's usually when I come online and do some fun out of the ordinary makeup, but recently since the movie Wonder Woman has come out, I have had so many Facebook messages, text messages, um, and also just my timeline has been blowing up with how much Gal Gadot and I look very similar. Honestly, at first, I didn't really completely see it, but even my own dad commented on one of the videos that one of my Facebook friends posted, and he said, oh my gosh, they look so similar, and even their mannerisms. So, I guess I have a doppelganger. I kind of joke, I'm like, well, she looks like me because I am older. <clears throat> so... Anyway, I definitely take it as a compliment. She's absolutely gorgeous. Um, if she ever sees any of this, oh my gosh, I hope that she is okay with people saying that I look like her and that she feels, you know, that it's a compliment and not something like, oh my God, I look like her. You know what I mean? So anyway, um, today is Whimsical Wednesday and I want to start looking at different photos of Gal Gadot and trying to replicate that. And I will be using all unique makeup. Um, I am a licensed esthetician, makeup artist, and brow designer. And that's what I do for a living. And this is the image that I'm going to mimic. What I've noticed with Gal Gadot, she's very natural in most of her photos, um, especially in this one. It's just like barely there, no makeup kind of look. Uh, she also does a lot of just really classic beauty, red lips, minimal eyes, and even her lashes are not exaggerated by any means. So um, typically in my daily life, I'm wearing faux, faux lashes and I love not wearing makeup because I do have that little bit of a hippie soul to me and I love to be natural and um, let my skin breathe. But I also have this glam girl side to me that loves to dress up, put on fake hair, and, you know, put on rouge and lipstick. So, and I'm also a mom, so, like, doing makeup and stuff, that's, like, my creativity. That's, like, my fun. It's not mundane. It's a way for me to really express myself through the art of makeup. So I really enjoy it. So go on this journey with me, and we're going to start using my Whimsical Wednesdays for some awesome pictures of Gal Gadot and see if we can replicate some of these photos. I am not a um, photographer, so I'm not sure if I will get these photos exactly right or not, but I'll give it a try. Um, I'm gonna be using all unique makeup. I said that earlier. Um, I am a, like I said, licensed esthetician and makeup artist. I have been for the last 17 years. I've also had the privilege to work for MAC Cosmetic, Cosmetics and was a makeup artist for them for a few years. So I know skincare. I know makeup. I love skincare. I love makeup. So I chose to start carrying unique cosmetics here at Eyebrow Studio. That's my business, Eyebrow Studio in Edmond, Oklahoma. And I started carrying this line here over a year ago. Why did I choose to carry unique products? Doesn't, can't anybody carry it? Can't anyone sign up for it? Why would I do that? Isn't it unprofessional? And I'm no, it's not unprofessional to fall in love with a product that your professional trained opinion does make a difference. I love the unique products because they do what they say they're going to do. Like this flawless mineral touch I used four drops. Look at the coverage. Isn't it beautiful? So I love that they also have so many different options based on what you like. You might not like mineral touch foundation, like a liquid foundation. I absolutely love it. You might be a powder kind of gal. Or 
you might like a loose powder. Maybe you love your bare minerals for many years, but and you really are addicted to that loose mineral powder. Um, maybe you like BB cream. I'm a huge fan of BB cream. I just love it because it's that barely there appearance. So all these options are available, you know, for, for you. And all the different makeup palettes, the eyeshadow palettes, the pigments, just the, the options are amazing because there's not one size fits all. It's what fits you. What do you like? What's easiest for you? So I love that. And I love that the unique products are toxic free. They're more natural based, natural and science. I'm able to use the unique products professionally, which is a huge deal. So I use this professionally during makeup lessons, uh, makeup applications for family photos, for weddings. So that's, this is huge. I'm able to do that with the unique cosmetic line. And as a professional, and if you're a professional watching, you can use this line in your business. You can have a huge inventory of makeup without having to carry a lot of inventory. So before I had my third son, which is who is nine now, I had a large eyebrow studio where we did facials, massage, eyebrows, hair, manicures, pedicures, we were full service and I had to carry a lot of inventory. I carried um, shampoos and conditioners. I carried a different cosmetic line at the time. And I mean, you have to spend thousands upon thousands of dollars to keep your um, inventory stocked. Well, what's beautiful about the unique products is you have all this amazing, high quality makeup that, in my opinion, matches MAC Cosmetic easily. I don't know why I keep saying cosmetic, but cosmetics easily. I love it. It works really well. There's so many different products I've tried in the past that were non-professional non or over-the-counter. You know, you just don't get that same result, but this makeup is high quality and you get that professional, professional results with it. And I know I'm not the only uh, professional that agrees. I know other professionals in the industry that also use unique cosmetics or we call it Y cosmetics. But when you have somebody who is trained showing you how to use the products, um, you kind of get a little bit more, an added bonus. So that's your advantage of following me here at the Eyebrow Studio is that you get to learn from me and I'm also just a message away. <clears throat> okay, so I'm just going for this really natural look. And I really feel like the main thing with her is her eyebrows. So this is where her and I differ quite a bit. We might have similar features, but her eyebrows are so much fuller and they're also lighter in color. So I'm going to get out palette one. These are the Y Addiction palettes, which are absolutely awesome. They come with colors that are harmonizing, which is great because it takes out the guesswork versus if you just pick colors and put them in a palette yourself. That's fine, especially if you know what you're doing with makeup. But if you're like most people who didn't learn how to do makeup as a younger woman, or you're just starting out in life learning how to use makeup, these 
colors take out the guesswork for you. They all harmonize together. So that's the advantage of having a pre-packaged palette. If you are a little bit more artsy or more professional, maybe you want to design your own. But I, as a professional, absolutely love all of the palettes and don't need to create my own. I just need more of them. Okay, so I'm going to be using my brow palette, but it's kind of dark for the look that she has going on. Um, I think I'm going to get my angled brush and I'm going to use the color number one. Sorry about that. Because it's, because it's light. This is the dark palette by Unique. And I'm just going to underline my brow and kind of fill it in a little bit more. So I am a 90s girl and you know we had supermodel super thin eyebrows. Everything was fat free and skinny back then. But I'm glad that all has changed. Body acceptance has changed. Um, fuller eyebrows are in. So there's a lot of good that's going on now, now that we're out of the fat-free 90s craze. We don't want these eyebrows fat-free. Not anymore. I do have my eyebrows tapped. It's called tapped. It's very similar to microblading. They might as well honestly call it microblading because it's hand tools and pigment instead of ink and it's hair strokes. You cannot tell. It looks absolutely natural. But I've been thinking about having it done again and my brows tattooed a little bit fuller. Maybe not extremely fashionably full because I can do that easily with my makeup. Just in case the trends change because we all know how that happens. Soon it'll go to skinny brows again I'm sure at some point. I'm trying out a new energy drink. I think my light is so bright, goodness. Probably need to back it up. Ruma? I don't know, the first one. It's unsweetened. Actually, for unsweetened, it tastes pretty good. Um, I have been drinking Herbamate, and I really like the Herbamate in a can drink. Okay, I'm going to be using Chipper. I'm going to see. I might want to use Auction Palette, too. Three. They have a really pretty taupe color, and yeah, I know it's kind of a grayish color, but it looks so good. It looks so light, and I don't want these brows dark or heavy at all. So I'm going to put that in as the filler. And you can even tell that I'm using this taupey color. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm going to check my schedule really quick. So I make these videos before my day starts here at the eyebrow studio. And it looks like we're okay on time. It's 9.31 Central Standard Time and it looks like my first appointment is going to be at, this listens to me, 10.30, which is awesome. That doesn't usually happen, so I really feel like this is meant to be for us to be together right now and you helping me to transform into Gal Gadot. And then what I'm doing is just not adding any more color to my brush and pushing up. And I'm hoping I'm not too soft spoken. That is that aesthetic side in me that is calm and quiet. 
but I'm kind of like a Gemini. I have this other side to me that's hyper and silly and fun. So, but I feel like that calm person's coming out right now. Just need this to kick in. Okay, so I'm thinking we're going to begin with the brows for now. And let's take a look at this picture again. And I think I'm going to turn this brightness down. Oh, my baby. That's my little baby. Um, can you see that? There we go. I think that helps. So, of course, in her photo, there's a lot of lighting effects, which makes a huge difference in how the photo turns out. So, ultimately, I just want everything to just look very light and natural. And, again, I'm going to be using All Things Unique. And she's wearing a nude lip. And her eyes are just lightly defined, nothing major. Um, that's another difference between her and I as I look at her photo. I have a lot of space between my brow and my lid. So it makes my brows look a lot higher, even though they are filled in. And I guess that would be because they are located higher. There we go. So I'm going from that outer corner to that all the way to that inner corner to kind of create that same effect. Kind of looks like she's squinting just a little bit, even though she's not squinting. I don't know if that's the right word. I don't think she's doing this, but. I don't know, her eyes just look, you know, kind of sultry and seductive, yet they are not overdone in the least. You can't even see her eyelashes. Her eyes are very tight lined. It looks so natural. That is her, I feel like signature is just that really natural and her eyes are never overly done. Sometimes for her award shows and stuff like that, she might have a little bit more, but for the most part, I feel like her signature is that red lip, which I absolutely love. I personally am a red lip fan and do that myself. I'm going to add just a little bit of this dusty rose color from Palette 3 in Unique. If you want any of the items that I'm using here today, you can go to browsemakeupbeauty.com or find me on Facebook under the Eyebrow Studio or Nicole Dion, and I am eyebrow designer on Instagram, eyebrow underscore designer on Instagram, so you can see all my eyebrow art that I do every single day for all these fabulous ladies who come and see me, and if you're ever in the area, come and see me and have your eyebrows designed by me. Okay, let's see here. I mean, she really has very little, if anything, underneath. So, I'm going to go with that same color, kind of a taupey color. And I'm going to use that underneath just to give a little bit of definition. But not a makeup look. Okay, and then I'm going to take this awesome angled brush. Everybody needs one. Get one if you don't have one. But I'm not going to use a black color. She never looks like she has anything harsh. I'm just going to use this darker brown it's called Forthright. It's a very flat color. We're just going to press this in. We're not going to exaggerate. We're not going to make tails. We're just going to keep it all really natural. And there is a pigment 
that is very matte and very nude. I wish I had that right now. In her photo, she has zero shine. Again, part of that could be the filter. Um, the closest color I have right now is a color called Upscale. And my poor lipstick looks absolutely horrible. I don't know if how I messed it up, but I did. Or a little kid got into it. Not sure which. Um, let's just use... And sometimes I use um, eyeliner for lip liner. So this is a very just neutral color. And it's to really make that the lips pop. A lip contour, if you will. Honestly, I feel like this is the best way to make them look a lot fuller. Oh, this color is perfect. Oh yes, the perfect nude lipstick. This is why I bought this color. I look at it because it's all mangled, and I'm like, hmm, why did I pick that color? Okay, I'm putting it on and going, this is why. Do you see why I picked this color? Isn't it amazing? And we're not looking to shine it up at all. I'm a blot. And let's take a little bit of uh, finishing powder on top. And that's the goal. I think the transformation is almost complete. She doesn't have a lot of blush on. It's mainly contour. I might exaggerate that just a little heavier um, based on the photo. Sorry, that timed out there for a second. You can see that intense shadowing here. So let's add a little bit more. And when you're doing things for photography, it's exaggerated. So if someone came in in real life and goes, oh my gosh, you look like you have dirt on your face. I wouldn't be surprised because it's intense. But on film, right, it doesn't look super intense. And let's see, do I want to do any highlights? She's so matte. And we're just going to keep the um, eyeliner, I mean the eyelashes, as they are, just natural. Let's add a little bit of a bone color on the lid, and it's matte. It's called Elated in Palette One. Adding that in there. Okay, now to do this crazy hair. Oh my gosh. So I had a baby about 20 months ago. There's quite a bit still going on with my hair and body. I lost so much hair. Oh my gosh, I did. If you've ever had any babies, <laughs> I have four, and this is the first experience I've ever had losing hair. Not during the pregnancy, but after the pregnancy, there was hair all over the floor. My kids would walk in and like, Mom, why is your hair all over the floor? I have to sweep it up daily. My drain got terribly clogged. All right, so she has a little bit of a bump going on and her hair is kind of slick. Um, I have a little bit more, I don't know what type of texture she has, but I definitely have personally fine hair. And I'm also gaining quite a bit of hair back after post baby. So 
Let's see if I can replicate this. That a little teasing works wonders. So I'm going to show you my nasty brush. Sorry, it's gross. I'm going to clean it really quick. Honestly, I keep this here at the Eyebrow Studio, so it's like just my little touch-up brush. But all of these, like it has like the normal teeth, but then they have those bristles. If you have fine hair, this is the best brush. Um, this fine hair tends to get stringy looking quick and easy because, I don't know why actually, probably because the fine fabric strands just weave together easily and just look like you never brush your hair when you brush it a hundred times a day. The wind tossles it and looks horrible. So this brush, I love it. And I also have a ratting brush that has that same bristles, but they taper. And that really has been a lifesaver for my hair. And then I use um, a bedhead crimper, and it's specifically a root crimper. And that's like 20 bucks on Amazon, so it's not bad. And I don't have hairspray with me. I'm here at Eyebrow Studio, and um, because I don't do hair at this location, I don't do hair personally, and I don't have employees, so um, I don't have hairspray. And I don't even have any personal hairspray. My favorite hairspray is by Matrix, and it's their rose oil. Oh my gosh, I love it. I even love their mousse. Now I do notice I have to use a little bit less than I typically use. I use it to boost those roots. Okay. All right. I think it's getting close. I wish I could spray this down or have my friend Zach, who is a fabulous hairstylist. If you need one and you live in the Oklahoma City area, let me know and I'll pass you his info. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Dropping my phone. I don't want to lose my hair. Let's see. Oh, her hair is behind her, not in front. And her shirt is off the shoulders. And I'll post a real picture in the link because it's really hard to see. So what I'm going to do now is take some pictures against this wall and I will post some before and after pictures here in the comments. Um, so yeah, thanks for joining me for that transformation into Gal Gadot. Um, and much love to you. See you soon.